class so welcome back to our next set of notes dealing with exterior angle theorem um it's in the title we're talking about exterior the angles on the outside of a triangle and what you should notice what is different about this triangle than what we did before is that now we got an extension that comes out from the triangle and that extension actually helps form the exterior angle okay so let's label these parts so just like I was saying, the line that comes extended out from the triangle which forms the exterior angle. So our exterior angle is actually going to be formed here. Okay? And what we're going to label that, we're going to label that point right there as E. Alright, so the angle E is going to be our exterior angle. Alright, with that being our exterior angle, now, because we have a theorem, and every theorem comes with and some form of equation or something that we can use to help us use the theorem, and it states that because we have that exterior angle, we have something called remote interior angles, okay? And we dealt with the angles on the inside of the triangle before, and I'm going to label all the angles on the inside as A, B, and C. But I mentioned the remote interior angles because... They are important to this theorem. What it states is that the angle on the outside, okay, basically is made by the two remote interior angles. And the way we identify this, I try to use an example. Let's say you're sitting on your couch, okay, angle E is going to be your couch, and you're using your remote that is across the room from you to change the channels on your TV. So what I mean by that is this, the angle E is here. Okay, and there's going to be two angles that are across from it that will always be called your remote interior angles. They're going to be across from the outside angle, and they're going to add up to be the one on the outside. So let's label those as what they are. Okay, so angle A and B is going to be our remote interior, because interior means inside, angles. Okay. So that's going to be A and B. All right. So with the remote interior angles, just like I was saying, angle A and angle B adds to be the sum of the remote exterior angle okay and what that means is it's just simple all we do is take the angles the two angles and add them together so if we got angle A we're going to take angle B and that's going to equal the angle E okay so with that being stated so let's look at our first example okay so let's move up it says the size of the triangle below has been extended to form an exterior angle of 129. Find the value of x. <clears throat> so let's identify first. First thing first, if I look, this 129 is on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to put E here because that's exterior. Okay, and if I look at E, what I'm going to do is, because I know that's outside, I'm going to take a line and draw it straight across from one corner to the other side. So them two things, what they're going to be pointing at is our remote interior angles. So I'm going to put R and R, okay? The reason why I put R R is for remote, all right? So it says that the sum of the two remote, okay, sum means add, will equal the exterior. So that says like this, X, we know the little box means 90, plus 90 equals 129, okay? So... Let's solve it. Just like any problem, basically, all I'm going to do is take and subtract 90 from that 129. Basically, it says that I moved it, bring X down. So, we got 129 subtract 90. That's going to give me 39. So, the answer to X is going to be 39 for this one. Okay? And that's going to be example number one. Now, I'm going to do example one. I'm going to skip the next one, and I'm going to treat this one as my example two. The ones that I skipped, we're going to do together in class, 
So if you feel comfortable about going ahead and solving it, try it. And then we'll see if you got it right when we go over them in class. Okay? The next question says that we have N triangle NOP. NP is extended through the point P to PQ. To point Q. Excuse me. It says the measure of angle OPQ is equal to 6X minus 15. The measure of angle PNO is equal to 2X plus 18. And the measure of angle NOP is equal to 2X minus 13. It says, what is the value of X? Okay. So before we can go or solve this problem, we first need to look at a triangle to see where we are and where our angles are. So let's just make us a triangle. It ain't got to be a perfect triangle. It can be small. It can, it can be big, whatever you decide to draw. Okay. And we're going to label the sides of that triangle based off what they told us. They told us the sides of the triangle will be NOP. So this is going to be N. This is going to be O. And this is going to be P. And now it says the line into P. The line into P was extended. Okay. And it was extended through point Q to make point Q. It was extended through point P to make point Q. So let's extend point P. And then we're going to label that extension as Q. Okay? Now, we're going to label the parts of this triangle now. It says for O, P, to Q. Okay? It's 6X minus 15. So I'm going to label that as this outside angle as 6X minus minus 15. Then it says the next one was P N to O. When we label that, that says that's going to be 2X plus 18. Alright, and then the last part that they told us to label is going to be N O P. When we label that one, they say we got to label that as 2X minus 13. Okay, so if we're looking at 6x minus 15 being outside, you see I drew the little arrow to represent O because it wasn't big enough for me to write it there. Okay, that means the two remote interior angles got to be the 2x plus 18 and the 2x minus 13. So those are my two remote interior angles. They're inside the, the triangle across from my outside angle. So what we can do with them because they have to be added together we're going to stack them like we did before. So we're going to put our 2x minus 13 on top of our 2x plus 18, making sure we line up our numbers. We're going to add them together. So what they're going to give me is 2x plus 2x makes 4x. Then we got negative 13 plus 18. That's going to give me a positive 5. Okay? So we combine the two remote interior angles together, and what that's going to equal is our exterior angle, which is our 6x minus 15. So we got our variables on both sides, type of equation, so let's solve it. We don't have distributive property, property. We don't have combining like terms. So we split it and take the variable from the back and move it to the front. When it crosses that line, the sign changes. Okay? The one in the back is gone. 4 minus 6 is going to be a negative 2x. We bring down our positive 5 and our negative 15. Okay? Now we got to get x by itself, so that means we're going to take the positive 5, move it to the back. That's going to become a negative 5. That's going to be bringing down 2x. Okay, if I bring down 2x, we got negative 15, negative 5. Signs are the same. Add them. That's going to give me negative 20. All right, from there, what we do is take and divide by negative 2. And we find out the value of x is going to be 10. And that's what they want us to find. They wanted us to find what is the value of x. All right, so that will be our example two, okay? So now let's take what we just learned there. You can apply it to the next one, but we're going to skip it in the video, but we're going to come back to it as a class, all right? So for the final example that we're going to do together on the video, which we're going to go ahead and label it as example three, okay? It says that in triangle PQR, line PR is extended through the point R to point S. It says the measure of angle QRS is 7x plus 8. The measure of angle RPQ is x plus 12. And the measure of angle PQR is equal to 3x plus 20. It says find the measure of angle RPQ. Okay? Same thing. 
we got to draw a triangle so we know what it looks like and where everything goes. All right, so if we draw a triangle, we have it. All right, it says that now from what we got to do, we got a label. So we got a P. All right, we got a Q. And we got R. And it says the line PR, okay, PR was extended through point R to S. So we're going to make where R is, we're going to extend it out a little bit more. And what we're going to do, we're going to label that as point S. Okay? From there, we're going to put in the angle measures of what they told us. The first angle measure that they told us is, is Q, R, S. Okay? And that's going to be 7, X, plus 8. All right, what you should notice is that where I put the 7, X, plus 8 was based off the middle letter in those three letters that they gave us for the QRS. So basically 7x plus 8 went where R was. And the same concept will go for the next one. The next one, what we have is R, P, Q. So that means X plus 12 is basically going to go where P is. So we're going to put X plus 12 here. Okay? And then the last one they told us about was the measure of P, Q, and R. So 3x plus 20 is going to go where Q is. So I can write that. So that's going to be 3x plus 20. Now that I know where everything goes, I can set up my problem and start to find my answer that I have to find. Okay? So outside angle is my 7x plus 8. If I go straight across from that, those two angles are my remote interior. So I can stack those and add them together. So if I go to add those two together, we put 3x plus 20, and then x plus 12. Make sure we line up everything, we add them together. 3x plus x makes 4x, 20 plus 12 makes 32. Now that we have added the two remote interior angles together, we can now set it equal to the outside angle, which is 7x plus 8. We don't have distributive property. We don't have combining like terms, so we split it and take the variable from the back, move it to the front. When I cross that line, it becomes the opposite, which is negative 7x. So 4 minus 7 is going to give me negative 3x. 32 comes down, okay, and positive 8 comes down. Now we'll take the positive 32, move it it. Okay, to the other side, that's going to become a negative 32. Negative 3x comes down. 8 minus 32 is negative 24. Okay, and then we last thing is divide by negative 3. What we do is we find out the value of x is going to be equal to 8. Okay, we found the value of x. The question didn't ask for the value of x. It asked us to find the measure of angle R, P, Q. So the angle R, P, and Q is here. So we're actually just finding what this expression is equal to, okay? But if you notice that expression has an X in it, but didn't we just find out what the actual X mean? So we found out that X means eight. So really what we have is eight plus 12. What we did was took the X, plugged it into that expression, and eight plus 12 makes 20. So the measure of RPQ is 20 degrees. Okay, so looking at the next one, that is our last example. We're going to do this together. So if you feel comfortable, try to set it up. Okay, so what we just talked about was how to use the exterior angle theorem to find the measure of angles, whether they're outside or inside. Now, we covered these three examples. Promise you there's plenty more layouts that could be given. But if you use the outside angle and add the two inside angles together, it will give you the answer that you should every you should need every time. So that's the exterior angle theory.